If you clicked on this video, you probably are looking to start or just started a new YouTube channel. And I know what that feels like because 30 days ago, I started this challenge where I told myself I would post on YouTube every single day. And I'm a new YouTuber and along the way, I've learned so much. And I'm going to give you exactly the video I wish I have seen before I started my YouTube channel. This will give you peace of mind. This will give you assurance. This will give you the inspiration that you need to get yourself going. If you don't know who I am, my name is Bianca. Welcome to my channel. If you're a subscriber and you've been here since the start, let's celebrate the fact that I actually completed my challenge. I literally posted 30 days in a row. I'm so proud of myself. I'm going to tap myself on the shoulder. Yes, that felt amazing. That felt so good. So let's get into the video. The number one thing that you have to know is that when you start a new YouTube channel, it will feel so slow. It probably took you so much courage to actually post your first video. I know I've been there and it feels scary and you've put a lot of effort into it, but you're not even going to see the reward. Like you're going to post your video and you're going to be like, it took so much, but people are not going to care that you posted or people are going to maybe the first video, a lot of people will click, but then the second video, less people because they're gonna, just not going to be interested. You're going to feel like things are slow and it's going to feel extremely discouraging from the start. That is normal because realize that that's when people quit. The people that don't make it as a YouTuber is because they quit before they got there. Every big YouTuber that's known have gone through the process of posting their first video and having no traction. So just trust that it will feel slow and that it's extremely normal. I know it sounds obvious, but just reminding yourself because when you're in it, you're going to get all these insecurities just realize that it's normal and just trust the process then you got to understand that you're going to get better with time think about this experiment that they've done about two groups that had to do the best painting possible in the first group they had 30 days to do the best painting but they only had one painting to do so they only focused on one painting and they would do it as perfectly as possible the second group, they could do as many paintings as they want. They could do it and have it ugly. They would just try and do it over and over again. And at the end, they compared both groups and try to figure out which paintings were the best. Which groups do you think was the better one? This group, the group that had a lot of practice that did it over and over again and was able to do a better result. Why? Because they actually practice. It's important to do a lot of trials and error to get better. And you have to understand that for yourself that Focus on quantity over quality at the beginning. You want to post as much as possible. You want to post a lot. That's literally what I did. I posted every single day. And the amount of growth I have seen in myself, even people comment on my videos how much more fluidity, how people are able to listen longer to my videos. The flow of my videos is all getting better because I am actually getting better. And that's because I've posted every single day consistently. So trust quantity over quality at the beginning and then once you get better maybe you can do more quality videos but don't worry about that right now it's also good that you're bad right now because you don't have a lot of subscribers most people that start on youtube have little to no subscribers at all so it's okay that you're bad because no one's really watching this is the time to be bad and there are going to be people that connect with you anyways because People like to see imperfections in other people. People like to see the human side of other people. So it's okay that you're bad at the start. As long as you're being authentic with it and you're not trying to be someone you're not, you're going to be fine. People will connect with that. Don't worry about that as well. The next thing that you have to do is to actually be so grateful for the subscribers that follow you. Because I know that right now there are some people that have followed me from the start. I've noticed them. I, they keep showing up on, on my comments on YouTube. They come on my DMs on Instagram. And it's so wonderful to see that those people are sticking up with me literally from the start. They're my OG. So if you're one of them right now watching and you're not even looking to start a YouTube channel, like this is so cool that you're even watching me. Like I love you so much for that. So. Be grateful for the subscribers that are there from the start because they're the ones that literally are keeping getting you started, keeping you going. Like you have to give them thank you. You got to tell them that you love them. That is so important because they're going to come back and they're going to support you no matter what. So nurture the ones that are already there. Then you have to realize that you are on your own path and you have to be patient because it's so easy to think, oh, I'm so unlucky. Like it's taking so much time before I'm having subscribers. It's so easy to get wrapped up on the fact that you're unlucky and that you wish that it was easier and people would just subscribe to you. Because if you're like me, you you know that your content is so valuable. The videos that I post, 
I think they are life changing. And it's so frustrating for me to see that not a lot of people are watching them because I'm like, they can literally change your life for the better. And I, I just don't understand why people don't watch it, but you have to be patient because you don't want to peak at the wrong time. You don't want to peak early when you're not ready. Every time you create yourself like an expectation or I should get this, it's just going to create a lot of suffering. You don't want to be in that state of mind. You really want to just trust that you will get what you deserve when you're ready. Trust the universe, trust God, trust whatever higher power you believe into, just trust the process. I just think about the fact that sometimes people get extremely, extremely lucky and get viral or famous overnight and those people don't know how to handle it. And you have to understand that for yourself. If you get it early when you're actually not ready and you're just being impatient, you're not gonna know what to do with it. You're not gonna be able to capitalize on it. So just trust that it's going to be okay. Do not over plan everything. That was one of the things that kept me from posting for a long time because I wanted to do the perfect video and I was planning everything. And even from this for this challenge, I was like, oh, I need to plan my 30 days. What am I gonna talk about for 30 days? But life is so unpredictable. There are so many things that happened in my life within those 30 days that I would have never thought of filming about. I've actually gone through one of the darkest, hardest periods of my life within those this month. I had an extreme situation, the hardest thing I've been through. I mean, it's easy for me to talk about it now because I've healed a lot from it. But when I was in the thick of it, it was so hard and I was posting my self-improvement videos on YouTube and it was crazy because I'm like, I would have never planned to do those type of videos, but that's okay. You can't plan everything. Life is unpredictable. And the most important thing is to just start and get going. You'll adjust along the way, you'll learn along the way and just be present doing it and you're not gonna be able to plan everything out. Next, you don't want to go viral. You want steady growth. And the reason why I say you don't wanna go viral is because let's say you post a self-improvement channel just like me and you post a cooking video and let's say that cooking video goes viral then all these new subscribers are going to expect you to post more cooking videos because that's what they liked about you. But you don't want to do that. That was just a small part aspect of your life. And now you're going to have to feel like you're going to have to change what you want to do just to fit what they want. And you're not really respecting yourself, your desires, your boundaries. And you're not going to end up doing the channel authentically like you wanted to. So if you have the steady growth, you're gonna slowly build the community that you want to have and they're gonna be willing to listen to everything that you wanna say and you're not gonna have to mold to what they want. You're always gonna respect yourself. So don't think about going viral, just focus on steady growth. Another point, it goes back with being patient. You don't wanna be impatient because you don't wanna be greedy and desperate because at that point, you stop being authentic and you're starting to be a version of yourself that is repelling other people and you'll end up self-sabotaging your own success because if you're acting like you want something and you wanna take something from other people and you're greedy and desperate, you're not going to post authentic videos that are gonna be helpful for other people. And people can sense that. People can sense when someone is just not really caring about their subscribers. So if you're acting like someone else, if you're acting like a YouTube strategy, a marketing strategy, if you're trying to just take money from people, people know that. People can feel that. That's probably going to ruin your career more than anything else. So just know that if you're being authentic in who you are, that's probably the best strategy that you can do to attract growth, success, and prosperity in your life. So if you're new on YouTube, realize that analytics really don't matter. You are trying to figure out your purpose, your audience, your content, just as much as the algorithm. So don't focus on the analytics early because it doesn't even know itself what it wants to attract. Like you are trying to figure it out. So focus on yourself and don't try to mold what you post just based on the early analytics. I did that mistake two weeks ago when I looked at my analytics and realized that 90% of my viewers are female. I don't know if that's still the case now, but I was so surprised because on Instagram, when I post the link to my YouTube, most people that interact with me are guys. So I figured it would be mostly guys or 50-50, but then when I realized it was mostly female, I was like, oh my God, then should I post more feminine things? Should I post more about, you know, I don't know, it just changed my mindset. But then I caught myself and I was like, no, stay authentic to what you want to post because right now it maybe is that that I'm attracting, but slowly I'm going to curate my 
channel to the specific audience I want to attract. I don't want to change how I act just to fit the community that's there right now because it has so much space for growth and refining that I need to trust that when I post the things that are authentic to what I want to attract, I'm going to attract those people. Don't be mad if you procrastinated and didn't start in the past because that's something I did to myself. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I took so long to post on YouTube. I'm so mad at myself for doing that. Like, why didn't I not start earlier? I would have made so much progress if I would have done it years ago because I wanted to do YouTube for three years. I got my camera in 2019, in November 2019, and I posted a video back then, and it's like my first video on YouTube. Please don't go watch it. Please don't go watch it. I think it might be in French anyways, but anyways. I posted that video in 2019 and I would cringe myself out because I did a vlog and I was like, I'm not really into vlogging and I didn't really know what to do. Now, when I started posting every day, at the beginning, I was like, wow, it's so much easier than I thought. What was really hard was just the courage to get started and post my first few videos. And I was getting mad at myself for not starting in the past. But that version of you in the past was just simply not ready. You didn't start in the past because that version of you was not in the mind space to start. And that's okay. You are in that space right now because you're watching. You're getting ready right now. You're getting inspired right now. And this is the time. This is the version of you that is ready. So don't be harsh on yourself about who you were in the past. That person wasn't ready. And I literally was just a couple minutes ago before I started filming this, going through my notes, trying to find something. And I saw a note that I put in 2020. I'm reading it from my computer over there. It's not the events that happen in your life that matters. It's the meaning you attach to them. I wrote that October 5th, 2020. Those were the type of learnings I was doing three years ago that I still kind of do today. And I'm like, oh my God, why did I not post about things like that back then? Because I've been on my self-improvement journey for so long. Why did I not post about it back then? But I wasn't ready. I was just starting. I was just learning. And it had to feel kind of part of my identity it had to feel real for me to be able to talk about it so I was not ready back then to go on YouTube and share my knowledge because it was still new for me and I had to get used to this new life perspective so don't be harsh on yourself for not starting in the past realize that the version of you right now is the one that's ready to start and focus on that that's really all that matters is your present moment don't be in a lack mindset don't be in the mindset that you don't have the things that you want, that you don't have the subscribers. Just act like you already have those people and be grateful for it because honestly, if you stick around with YouTube, you're going to achieve what you want. If you want to be a well-known YouTuber, a good YouTuber, it's going to happen if you just do the work. It's literally inevitable. Like You're going to get what you want if you're staying consistent and you trust the process. But if you're in a lack mindset where you're like, oh, things are so slow, I don't have the subscribers, I don't have the talent, if you think those things, that's what you're going to attract and you're going to do a self-fulfilling prophecy. That's going to become your reality. So instead, shift your mind to like an abundance mindset, a grateful mindset where you're like, I'm so happy for the people that are here right now. I'm so happy that I'm going to become this great YouTuber because I'm doing the work. So the way that you talk to yourself will shape your reality and that's something you have to realize what is the narrative in your mind because that's going to affect your results honestly if you're just being present and enjoy the journey and enjoy what you're doing it's going to be so easy for you to be disciplined and you're going to just keep doing the work and you're going to get what you want if you're being authentic that's probably the best advice you can hear for being on youtube because you are the most unique person out here no one else can be you so you need to understand that you are special in that way. Like you are your own personal brand and you have to be yourself if you want to have people love you. I hope this video was valuable. I hope you're gonna take in my information. I hope you're gonna trust the process. And remember, you are going to get what you want. You just gotta do the work. That's all there is to do. I can see my channel growing now after 30 days in a row and it honestly was way easier than expected. So doing YouTube is hard, but it's easy at the same time. It's only hard because we're putting all these meanings to what it's like to post on YouTube and we're overthinking it, but it's actually not that hard. Like it's so easy to just post. As long as you're being authentic, there's literally nothing wrong you can do. Like I'm being who I am and I feel like that's why it's making it easier for me because I'm like, I'm just doing my best. You know, I'm just doing, what I want to do and it's true to me so 
there's really no loss here and I know I'm, I'm learning and I can see my growth my personal growth and also my YouTube growth so it's exciting I don't know what the plan is really going forward I think I'm gonna post less because I need some time to think about better ideas in between my videos I want to be able to slow down because I'm in my femininity era where I need to rush less and be more present and I feel like that way when I will post a video it will be more valuable so instead of expecting a video every single day it probably will be two or three times a week that's my goal so I just want to set my intention out here um, thank you so much for watching I love you so much and yeah get after it the only way you won't succeed is if you stop trying so believe in yourself okay I love you bye